a smaller collection instead of owning like 200 eyeshadow palettes and like 600 lipsticks that's exaggerating for most people but you know what I mean like I, I feel like it's important to also show like that people it's okay to just have like a few things it's how you use it not what you have honestly in my opinion um because like a brown eyeshadow is a brown eyeshadow you know that's just how I view it, and that's also probably why, like, I'm, I wasn't doing great as a strictly beauty YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start. I'm not gonna swatch them on my mouth, because most of them are liquid lipsticks, and oh my god, I just, I don't want to have the time for that today. Or ever, honestly. So I'm just gonna, like, swatch them on my hand, and, like, talk about them and stuff. It'll still be tingly, and just, like, not gonna put them on my lips. Please forgive me. I promise. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Okay. Let's start off. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is my favorite lipstick ever. Ever, I think. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cabo. You guys have seen her a million times. It's just the uh, Sabrina one. The collection that they did with NYX. Um, this is like a peachy color. The formula is so I absolutely adore it. I think I need a new one. I'm pretty, I'm running out, honestly. And it smells nice. I can't quite pick it. Maybe vanilla, maybe not. I also, I also, like, don't recommend wearing this lipstick by itself. It really washes you out. It's not cute. It's kind of like a center of the lips, 90s vibe. I always have, like, a darker lip on, so I'm just gonna swatch it. It can also be like the teeniest bit streaky, but it's still so cute. I'm just gonna move my light. I hope you guys can see it. It's just a nude peach. It's absolutely my absolute favorite, honestly. Um, I also didn't cut my fingernails, so I could tap on the lipsticks. So I clearly really prepared for today. Anyways, that's lipstick number one, my absolute favorite. I adore her. I'm just grabbing random ones out of my, like, lipstick jars. I hold a lot of my, I hold a lot of my makeup in old, washed out Bath & Body Works candles. Anyways, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid. from Too Faced, uh, just because the shade is so good. Um, I bought this because Allie, or Ashley Vi, I think she's going by that now. Allie, Ashley Vi, you know her. Um, she recommended the shade, and then the whole, like, Nikki Tutorials Too Faced thing happened, and I was like, oh no, but whatever, um, it's fine. And this is the second dupe of this I've owned. I also love this for a good um, 90s nude, but I also like it by itself. And the formula on this is quite nice. So this is like a pinkier nude, um, and it's a lot darker than Cabo. So I just swatched it. Right there. I'm not sure how well the swatches are showing up, so I do apologize for that. I really like this one. Does it smell? I can't remember. It smells bad. It smells real bad. <laughs> like chemical, but it's a really nice liquid lipstick. Um, and the formula is nice. I said that already. I like the doe foot. Um, it is a thicker formula, so you can usually feel it on your lips, especially if you attempt to fix it. So like if I ever needed to like reapply, because liquid lipsticks, um, I always like find they wear off in the center of my mouth eventually from eating and talking the day. They don't last the whole day, especially, like, through wear and tear. So if I'm, like, reapplying this, I always just, like, use a makeup wipe to take it off, and then I just put it 
guess you can swatch if Sephora, right? Because Corona, but Rosewood. I wish I got Rosewood, so I might be purchasing that one. I need this is like a berry color. I've it's like a berry color. I'll swatch it. Um, I've talked about this quite a bit recently. Still can't quite pick the scent. I don't know what it is.
So what? 